I hypnotize my children and my husband to do things for my benefit all the time. Now just listen to my voice and picture the beautiful gold and yellow light radiating all around you. Mum of three, Lisa Mackenberg, has hypnotized over a thousand children over her 23 year career. Hypnoparenting is a natural marriage between hypnosis and parenting. I hypnotize my children and my husband to do things for my benefit all the time. We have a household to run. Many times I exert influence so that my children are able to get their chores done so that this house runs efficiently. It can get a little crazy when she tries to hypnotize us at every single possible situation that she can. Uh, it can get like a little overbearing, you know. She kind of can try to, you know, get in your head. It can get like a little crazy. And she'll use like a very soothing voice. I see no downside to having Lisa hypnotize family members, but maybe that's because she's hypnotized me to think so. Hey, good morning everybody, how are you? Clients pay $125 an hour, and as well as addressing the children's varying needs, she also teaches parents to hypnotize their own kids. We're gonna learn formal hypnosis. Libya, what you would like is to use hypnosis to hypnotize your son so he'll have the love and the passion for basketball once again. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use hypnosis for you to detach, and we're gonna use hypnosis for her to continue to do her personal best. Let me teach you all how to hypnotize your kid without your kid even knowing. All children are hypersuggestible to their parents between zero and about nine or 10 years of age. So the first step in hypnoparenting is teaching each and every parent how to hypnotize him or herself. Once you're calm in any parenting situation, you can teach your children containment. You're never off with parenting, you 24 seven. Having these tools, makes it so much easier. You don't want to be in war with your family. It is controversial. I have parents that ask me, uh, don't you feel like you are manipulating people or you are manipulating your children? It's actually not. I am helping them be more assertive, be stronger. Lisa hypnotizing me to make me brave. I was crying a lot in school. I didn't want to go to school. So I, I wanted to tell my mom, mommy, mommy, I want to go home. I want to go home. Now just listen to my voice and picture the beautiful gold and yellow light radiating all around you. So I got hypnotized and, and now I, I, get, I love school so much. How do you feel now? Do you feel brave? Happy and brave? Like right when she's saying it, it feels, it feels like it's actually happening. Take a deep breath and exhale all your nervousness and watch as you see yourself dribbling like the best basketball star you've ever seen. And you can watch yourself dribbling. And you are dribbling like never before. You can picture it and you can picture it and it makes you smile. I have picked up a couple of hypnosis techniques. There's this one teacher I really didn't like at my school and he gave me a very bad grade on a test that would have brought my grade down to a B from an A. So I went to talk to him and when I did, I made sure my hand was close to like his arm. And I said, you will raise my grade. <laughs> As far as like getting into college, it helped me, you know, talk to teachers, get them to write like really good letters of rec for me. I feel like we definitely do have an advantage, but it's not like we're using like some sort of magic to like overpower people's wills. Lisa shrugs off criticism of her methods. If someone says to me, it is unethical to manipulate a child by using hypnosis to take control of the child's mind, I'll ask, when you parent your child, tell me about what you do. Is it effective? Is it working? Is it kind? Isn't everyone manipulated by their parents when they're growing up? If you grow up with a really um, supportive parents, they're going to inadvertently influence most of your activities. We learn how to hypnotize our children to be cooperative, peaceful, have containment, have good study habits, and to not just be good children, but to become good adults.